Isaiah 33, you see here how God is a God who majors out on what we might consider to be minor things. He says in verse 11, your breath is a fire that will destroy you. In other words, your words are what are going to be a flame of fire that will destroy you in the last day. The Lord Jesus taught, by your words you will be condemned and by your words you will be justified. So it's as if our words are quoted back to us at the day of judgment. This is why James says in the New Testament that you must be very careful with your tongue because that will be the basis of your condemnation. Now, why are your words so important? Because words reflect your mind, your thought. And so that is what God's looking at. You may say, well, what you say doesn't matter. It's what you do that matters. Well, God looks beyond that. If that is all that matters, then we can all be hypocrites and appear to do the right thing when inside we're thinking something else. No, God looks at the heart. And we are called, therefore, to live transparently before God and man and to focus upon having a spiritual mind. Have the Bible playing over in your mind, on your mobile devices, etc., etc. Psalms, hymns and spiritual songs playing in your mind. Verse 15, and blessed is the man who shuts his eyes from looking at evil. You see, that's all part of the same thing. Visual images that come into your head cannot be deleted. So shut your eyes from looking at evil. Yes, you could say very relevant to our age, it's screen life, etc. Yes, talking about pornography, yeah, absolutely. But beyond that, shut your eyes from looking at evil, any form of evil. Why look at a movie that is full of the stuff that otherwise you would condemn yourself as being sinful, a gossip, bad language, adultery, making nasty plans to destroy somebody else and so forth. If you love God, and if above all you want to control your mind and give God your heart, your mind, shut your eyes from looking at that stuff and fill your mind with positive spiritual images.